Algebra 2, this is Chapter 5, Section 6. This is the sixth video of seven in the series. Um, this is Example 5 from the book. Um, we're going to multiply radicals and to multiply radicals. We are going to use the FOIL method. So that's firsts, outers, inners, and lasts. So let me multiply my firsts here. So this is 2 square roots of 3 times 3. So that's going to be 2 times 3 square roots of 3 which is 6 square roots of 3. Then I'm going to go to my outsides. So that's 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. So that's going to be a positive here, right? Positive and a negative, which is going to make that a negative. I just made some dots here I don't need. So that's going to be 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which means that's 2 times 3. So that's minus 6. Inners, so that's going to be 3 times, let's see, a positive times a positive, that's positive here. So that's going to be a positive 3 times the square root of 5 times 3. So that is going to be plus 9 square roots of 5. And my last, um, so that is going to be this term times that one over here. And it's a positive times a negative, so it's a negative. And that's going to be 3 square roots of 5 times the square root of 3. So that is going to be minus 3. And 5 times 3 is 15, so square roots of 15. And all uh, four of these terms have different radicands, the numbers under the radical sign. And so that is as simplified as it gets. Problem number two here. Same thing we're going to FOIL. So F for firsts, O for outers, I for inners, and L for lasts. So first, 4 times 4 is 16. So this is going to be 4 times 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. When I take those first terms, right, 4 square root of 2, 4 square root of 2. So that is 16 times 2, which is 32. So that's my first, my outers, that very first term times 7. So 4 times negative 7 would be a, let's go with minus 4 times square root of 2 times 7, which would be minus 28 square roots of 2. Now we'll go to inners. So 7 times 4 square roots of 2, that's positive and negative. So that's a positive 4, oops, 7 times 4 times the square root of 2. So that's plus 28 square roots of 2. And then we go to the last, so that's 7 times negative 7. So a plus 7 times a negative 7 gives us a minus 49. So at this point, this is 32. Positive 28 square roots of 2 minus 28 square roots of 2. These two cancel, so it's just minus 49. And if you take a positive and a negative, same sign, add and keep, different signs subtract. So we are subtracting, keep the sign of the larger. 49 is bigger than 32, and it's negative. So the answer is negative. And 49 minus 32 would be 17. So the final answer on that one is negative 17. One more example here. Oh, notice that we had the same first term, same second term. One's positive, one's negative. Middle terms dropped out. So using our formula that hopefully we remember from before, so same first term, same last terms, middle terms drop our different signs in the different um, binomials. So we should have our middle terms drop out. So instead of foiling, I am going to square my first one, which is going to be 25 times 3, which is 75. I'm going to square my last one, which is 36. And a positive and a negative make a negative. Middle terms drop out. So 75 minus 36. Um, for those people who aren't good at subtracting here. So you would borrow from the 6, 7, make that 6. So this would be 9, and this would be 39. Final answer, 39 there. OK, so let's look at another problem. This one, you have to FOIL. The first terms are different. Last terms are different. We are positive and negative. So we may or may not have to combine like terms. So we've got our firsts. We have our outers. We have our inners. And we have our lasts. 
So first, 2 squared is 5 times, or 3 squared is 5 times 2 is 6 square roots of 5. And we go to outers. 3 squared is 5 times square root of 3. And they're both positive, so this is plus 3 square roots of 15. And we go to inners. 1 positive, 1 negative, so it's minus 4 square roots of 3. And then we go to last, so it's 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 3, which is just 3, so it's 2 times 3, so this is minus 6. So all different terms, that is your final answer. Um, again, this one has different first terms, different second terms. So we are foiling here, so firsts, outers, inners, and last. So first, 3 times 2 is 6. Outers, 3 times square root of 6 is positive 3 square roots of 6. Inners, 2 times square root of 7 is 2 square roots of 7. And last, square root of 7 times square root of 6 is a positive square root of 42. Nothing to distribute, or nothing we can bring out of that. So final answer. Well, hopefully you've got enough examples out of that to get you through those types of problems.